following program contains dangerous stunts that should not be reenacted. Viewer discretion is advised. Now on Whacked Out Videos, meet the leader of the most daring train gang. Help him that's not so hip. And what's up with this guy? BM Rex bikes never look so painful. Drop and give me your busted hip. Then, no date and a lot of time on your hands? How about taking a ride on a bucking bed? Wheelchair and chumps pump their right hook. Plus, the lessons of life in the countdown. Got a sweet tooth? No problem. Whacked Out Videos is hitting it right now. If you're like me, there's some mornings you'll wake up and say, gee, I'm too alive. Well, these Cinco Amigos in Simi Valley, California, have found a cure for the common life. They call it track hopping, but I call it the fast track to steering a wheelchair with a straw. These guys are mounting up their souped-up suicycles and doing 85-foot jumps. Over 5,000 tons of seniors speeding to see their grandkids. If they miss this jump, they can end up like one of those pennies you leave on a railroad track. Only not as shiny. Now, if you think track hopping's for you, ask yourself these questions. Am I afraid of heights? Am I a bleeder? And do I want to be buried in an envelope? You're a sick puppy. When you're right in the middle of a big, hairy wipeout, it feels like it's taking forever. But really, you don't have a lot of time to think up there. Which is a shame, because there's a few important decisions you have to make. Chief among them, do I let go of my bike or not? Answer, yes. You don't want to take a pedal to the ribs or a handbrake to the teeth. And you're going to need both hands to break your fall. Otherwise, you might end up like this guy. If only he let go, he could have kept on rolling and protected his coconut. On the bright side, he got to see all the pretty birdies. Ah, the peace and tranquility of rural France, where here in the quiet hamlet of Baguetteville, the town elders enjoy a little low-impact ring around La Rosie. The only thing that could upset the calm of a day like today would be a rampaging bear, or at least a guy in a bear suit. This is La Fête de Lure, the festival of the bears. And if it's quite yet disturbing Euro culture you're after, you've hit the Jacques pot. I mean, come on now, a guy dressing up in bear face? Really? In this day and age? I thought we'd move past this. It's not just offensive to bears, it's offensive to all hibernating mammals. Here's the story as best as I can piece it together. A long time ago, the devil took the form of a bear and made off with a comely young shepherdess. Boo Boo wanted her to be his boo, but a group of hardy woodsmen put the kibosh on that. So the bear got grizzly on the town folk instead. That is until an army of ghost barbers descended and turned the devil bear back into a man by shaving him. I wish I was making this up. Admit it, like me, you're a snooze alarm junkie. It takes more than an annoying bzzz to get us out of bed. Fear not, fellow sleepyhead. Inventor Ryan Hope has just the thing for us. The shake and wake. Best of all, it's simple to install. 
Tell us how it's done, Ryan. With a valve. Mm-hmm. With power supply. I see. With a uh, uh, amplifier. Okay. With a pressure switch to make sure you maintain pressure. Right. Here's a flashlight. I found a flashlight. Huh. You don't say. You really gave this some thought, didn't you? Yeah. I'm going to take a shot in the dark here. This is your parents' house, isn't it? Gee, that is convenient. Is this going to take much longer? I have a flight in six hours. At the risk of belaboring the obvious, Ryan does a lot of sleeping alone. But he says his invention works on double beds, too. We'll take his word for it. Buckle up for some hyped-up hydraulic hijinks. We're heading down to an awesome lowrider hopping contest. Want your car to do this? All you need is a trunk full of batteries, about five large in hardware, and lots of free time on the weekends. Back when I was a kid, the hippest hoopties topped out at about four feet. But with new technology delivering more bounce to the ounce, anybody can hit seven or eight feet. In fact, the only thing more embarrassing than not being able to get your car up is not being able to get it down. If your car gets stuck in the upright position for over four hours, consult your mechanic. Actually, there might be one other thing more embarrassing than that, and that's this. I'm no expert, but I think you might want to dial it down a couple notches. All right, time once again to thin the herd and raise our insurance rates. Here's a stunt so daring, so heroic, so stupid that I shouldn't have to tell you. Don't try this at home. Here's a little something from our give them enough rope department. Trust me, this will not end well. What's he holding, a cup of coffee? Maybe you better put it down, son, because there's... Ooh! Shaggy goes from zero to jacked up in about a tenth of a second. That has to be a new world record. Yo, this camera's done, yo. It's done. Classic. Their friend's been reduced to the dust in the bottom of a potato chip bag, yet they're way more concerned about the camera. Hold on a second. This is blowing my mind. Some guy's pointing a video camera at a guy who's pointing another video camera at yet another video camera. Freaky. Somebody should be filming this. When we whack back, this surfer gets rocked by rocks. These toned athletes pound the goose down. And these wheelchair and champs like to take their dukes to the dub. That's coming up. You're watching Whacked Out Videos. Your one-stop shop for the weird, the wild, and the what the heck was that from all around the world and right up your block. If you can't believe what you're seeing, we believe you're probably seeing it on Whacked Out Videos. <laughs> Welcome back to Whacked Out Videos. There is no force on Earth mightier and more relentless than the ocean. Yet every day, brave gladiators eat danger for breakfast and paddle right out into it, harnessing the power of the sea for their own amusement. Unfortunately, Kyle is not one of those guys. Just as you must walk before you can run, you gotta stand up before you can surf. The sad part is he squeezed himself into a wetsuit for this abuse. Dude, maybe you should take a few standing lessons on dry land first, then work your way up to the tide pools. All right, you video voyeurs, since you deserve the best, or at least the best we can afford, time to pick the lock and pick a winner. From the Wacked Out Videos Archive. If there is one thing Scotland is famous for, it's the burr. No, not the accent. Those pointy things that stick in your socks. Ouch. 
And every year on the second Friday in August, one of the local men folk will cover himself head to toe in the pokey little puppies and parade around town. What's it feel like? Imagine the itchiest sweater you've ever worn in your life and multiply that by 50 skadillion. Like every other wacky practice in the UK, the Burry Man tradition goes back hundreds and hundreds of years. So long, in fact, that no one is quite sure why they even do it anymore. Some say it has something to do with bringing luck to the herring fishermen, but that seems like a bit of a stretch. If you ask me, it's a complicated scheme to get people to give you apple juice. Sure, this looks uncomfortable, but I can think of something even worse than being covered in thousands of burrs. Having one well-placed burr under your kilt. Here's living proof that anybody with a video camera and half a brain can get on TV. It's Whacked Out Video's Amateur Hour. And now it's time to play Thinning the Herd. If you're a Whacked Out Videos wonk, you know we here at the Wackatorium never miss a chance to give some Einstein his 15 minutes of shame. If it's dumb, we'll show it. If it's moronic, we'll embrace it. If it's insane and seriously questions our faith in humanity, we're all over it. In our quest to seek out those geniuses doing laps in the shallow end of the gene pool, here are today's selections to be thinned from the herd. Meet Todd and his best bud, Booger, who put their combined IQ of 92 together to come up with this winner. Wheelchair boxing. No, it's not a new event at the Paralympics. These knuckleheads have complete use of all their body parts. Although it's clear there are a few billion brain cells obviously not being tapped. Borrowing a couple of chairs from the retirement home they clean toilets at, they thought it'd be fun to slap each other around until they needed the chairs for real. And if you think wheelchair boxing's for wimps, check this out. The only other way to get tagged like that is to suggest to your girlfriend weird things to do with a slinky. But this isn't about me. This is Todd and Booger's time to shine. Go for it, dudes. Knock yourselves out. Up next, the pie to the pucker never looked so good. Augie's back with firepower. And these well-trained athletes say pow to the pillow. Plus, we'll give you a heads up to the countdown. That's coming up. Welcome back to Whacked Out Videos. Learning a foreign language is tough. I took four years of Spanish in high school and I still get flummoxed trying to order a Taco Bell. That's why I have such respect for people who come to America and learn to speak English. Like Noriko here. It's a really hard language to pick up, but she's giving it her all. She's studying at the famous Norman J. Slapstick Language Institute in Albany, where they use a very controversial method to help reinforce the lessons. It's pretty subtle. See if you can pick it up. Which would you prefer, cake or pie? I prefer pie. Don't miss next week's lesson when Noriko learns all about the different kinds of hot soup. Whacked Out Videos takes you now to the intersection of boneheadedness where people much dumber than you perform ridiculous acts of idiocy. Now it's off to Balboa, Panama where Esteban Machirino and his BAFs, Best Amigos Forever, are taking an afternoon off from unemployment. Check it out. These guys have obviously knocked back more than a few chimneys and a couple of chongas. Things are mellow now, but the party's about to heat up. Uh-oh, it's the guy who delivered the guac and chips. They stiffed him on the tip, and now it's payback time. Oh, man, tell me he didn't do that. That is so wrong. The only thing that could be more mental is if they tried putting it out with gas... Whoa! Oh, these pen 
Animaniacs are out of control. Hey, you know what would be totally sick? Drive a truck into it. I love these guys. I guess setting the truck on fire is too much to hope for. Check out this clip I found on my stepdad's computer in a folder named Middle Ages Research. I'm no history major, but something tells me this isn't exactly a 100% accurate reenactment of a Middle Ages joust. Maybe by Middle Ages, he means his own midlife crisis. Or maybe this is the way they settled disputes at the Playboy Mansion in the mid-70s. Either way, it proves what I've said all along. Learning can be fun. And my stepdad is a creep. I'm almost too scared to open the folder marked lube, oil, and filter coupons. All right, my witless wonders of the weird. Time to hit the hurtin' highway with another segment of The Countdown. Today, the top five signs you need a new roommate. Number five. This is what he means by getting action in bed. Number four. He can't leave home without you. Number three. This is what happened the last time he pimped your ride. Number two. Good news. He's got a green thumb. Bad news, that's not all that's green. And the number one sign you need a new roommate. He hasn't paid his half of the rent since his coma. Well, there you have it. Five more reasons why you're better off alone. Up next. Having trouble sleeping at night? Check out this freak show. That's coming up. Welcome back to Whacked Out Videos. Two-thirds of the world is covered by water. The rest is covered by us. Time to gather up all the goofy goings-on from around the globe in a little segment we call... The Whacked Out Videos Passport. To Moscow for a show that combines acrobatics, dinner theater, and general freakery. For one low price, patrons get to enjoy all-you-can-eat sturgeon and a show that dares them to keep it all down. As you can clearly see, to do a trick like this takes big brass balls. This guy's skin must feel like the material they make work gloves out of. What a way to make a living. Of course, there are major perks in a job like this, such as flexible hours. Of course, for this guy, all hours are flexible hours. He's the only person to get ahead in show business by kissing his own butt. Next, this magician will attempt to levitate a volunteer hottie from the audience using only... Hey, wait a minute! I can totally see the guy behind her, holding the chair aloft in his superhuman teeth. Now he's dancing! He's not even trying to hide. Some magic. This guy has a hard time staying on the bottles when he's at work. Ironically, he has a hard time staying off the bottle when he's not on duty. They're a little behind the curve on the whole piercing thing in Russia, so we'll forgive this guy. But his assistant is way ahead of the curve on the whole Liza Minnelli look revival that's just around the corner. The Moscow Circus of the Strange. A little something to disturb everyone. Well, there you have it. Time to let Grandma out of the attic. Gotta fade out. Later. Produced and distributed by Mighty Oak Entertainment.